Obstacle course racing, or OCR, is a sport that combines running with pre-constructed obstacles to test your physical and mental endurance in a unique manner. Ranging from competitive events which offer cash prizes, to amateur events which allow you to have as much fun as a 10 year old stomping in the mud. Whatever your motivation for participating in an OCR event, one thing is certain, you will get a great deal of insight into your own mentality. OCRs are normally 3 to 15 miles in length, with some lengthier events reaching 30 or more miles. A typical obstacle course race requires you to run, climb, jump, crawl and slide your way over sometimes rough terrain in order to receive a medal or headband, beer, goodies and an extra notch on your fitness belt. When you're ready to plan your first race, it's a good idea to have a few basic training tips on hand. In this video, we have come up with some of the top 10 training tips to get you ready for an OCR event. Welcome to the Weekend Warrior Fitness channel and before we take a look at this comprehensive list, please remember to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Number 10. Run up, slow, down and fast. Make an effort to add at least one long slow run into your weekly training regimen, as well as one shorter tempo run and one hill interval workout. In any location where hill intervals or repetition can be completed will provide you the extra stamina, strength and speed you will need on race day to get you across the finish line. These intervals should be completed at a quicker rate than your race pace and should be performed at least a dozen times or maybe more depending on your fitness level. They should be done in addition to your regular runs and should account for around 30% of your weekly run volume. For as much as you are running as possible, try to stay off the beaten track. Include some off-road hill intervals into your training to give you an added boost of confidence on the race day. Number 9. Experiment with outdoor circuit training. Attending outside circuit training or boot camps will allow you to simulate as much as possible your event day. The activities you do during these sessions will include bodyweight exercises such as push-ups, planks, sit-ups, burpees and squats which will engage the same muscle areas as you will during your event. All these workouts are excellent choices for you to integrate into your training regimen. Another piece of advice, run hard between these exercises and attempt to get back up to your normal running pace as fast as you can to help maximise your results. Your legs and calves may feel like they're made of jelly, but it'll be well worth it when it comes to event day. Number 8. Technique is important, work on it. Now practically before every event, new and unique obstacles are presented, but there are also bigger and better obstacles emerging time and time again, for which you can always learn proper approach. High walls, monkey bars, neck climbs and crawls are some of the options. The technique is often just as crucial as strength. There are several online tutorials, specialised centres and professional athletes that can assist you in learning how to overcome these obstacles successfully and efficiently. This will save you time and energy on the day of the event, as well as reducing the possibility of injury. Number 7. Wear the appropriate shoes and get a clear grip. Ditch the normal running shoes as you will need a lot of underfoot grip if you want to succeed. If you don't already have a pair of off-road running shoes, now is the time to get them and it will be well worth it. It's not enjoyable to be slipping and sliding about on the mud, unable to make progress in the trenches and watching others run by you at breakneck speed. Purchase a pair of comfortable grippy off-road running shoes and begin exercising in them immediately after purchasing. Number 6. Don't get the guns out if the sun's not out. Although it seems to be common sense to dress appropriately for the weather, many make the mistake of not doing so on a daily basis. If you're going to be crawling about a lot, you should wear leggings to protect your knees from injury. 
If it's really chilly outside, don't go shirtless. Instead, put on a base layer. If it's hot outside, don't bother wearing your thermals. Investing in a good pair of gloves with enough grip is recommended if you're going to be using your hands a lot. Which is also important on a chilly day. After you've crossed the finish line and finished your post-event drink, the next thing you should do is put on some warm clothes. If you've become wet, get out of your racing outfit as soon as possible and put on some dry and preferably insulated clothes to keep yourself warm. Number 5. Help your friends and a stranger. Obstacle course racing fosters a strong sense of brotherhood and sometimes you will almost routinely require aid in overcoming a difficult challenge and at another moment a stranger may want your assistance. If you observe someone suffering you should stop and assist them unless you're racing against them. Encourage them to keep going. While some participants run around the course as part of a huge group others may be doing it on their own. Wherever visible Form a group and encourage one another to keep going. Number four, fuel up. Day before the event, you should consider ensuring you have proper fuel on board. Eat your meal the night before reasonably balanced and try not to consume anything that will make you feel bloated. Avoid consuming alcoholic beverages before going to bed early in order to achieve a decent night's sleep. Make sure to have breakfast on the morning of the event. Banana, oats and toast should suffice. And you should keep hydrating yourself by drinking plenty of fluids until you reach the starting line. Consider bringing one or two energy gels with you to the event so that you can consume them quickly if your energy levels start to dwindle. Number three, get in the pool and start to work on your swimming skills. Swimming, while being a fantastic form of low impact cross training, may be very beneficial when competing in OCR events. Not at least since several events now include a brief swimming portion as part of the course. Swim with your head high in the pool, or if you're confident enough, in open water, although only recommended for very strong swimmers. Number two, Exercise your fingers. Whether you're negotiating a rope or hanging to a wall, finger strength may be the difference between successfully completing the challenge and tumbling off it completely. Obstacles like this are usually no problem for people who climb or boulder on a daily basis, but for others they may face a real challenge. A little instruction may go a long way towards assisting. A variety of stress balls and finger strengthening devices are available, but hanging on a pull-up bar for as long as possible is one of the most effective ways of strengthening your fingertips. And number one, embrace the mud, push and smile. Accept the fact that you will get dirty. There's no use in attempting to avoid the mud entirely. Get there as early as possible and keep moving on forward. It will find itself everywhere, believe me. But the best course of action is to just accept it. And no matter what happens, keep smiling. Are you muddy, chilly and exhausted? Smile! It will also help you seem more stylish when you publish your photos on social media. Making the most of the chance by tackling each and every barrier is also crucial. It is also possible to retry if your first attempt fails, if there is an option to do so. If you fail an obstacle, there's nothing wrong with that, but you will hate yourself later if you don't give it your best go. Carry a small first aid kit packed with bandages and antiseptic wipes to help treat any small wound. Have some ice packs on hand to relieve any tight muscles. A portable massage roller may also aid in the relief of any sore or tight muscles. And this concludes today's video. Do you agree with our list? If you think we've missed any out, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel to never miss a future video. Thanks for watching.